Amen, amen, amen. Come on in, everyone. Let's go ahead and give the Lord praise and glory. Father, we just thank you, Lord, on today, Lord. We just come together corporately, Father, lifting up the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, God. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way, God. God, we thank you, Father. Oh, God, that when two or three are gathered, God, you are in the midst. So, God, we thank you, God, that you are here. God, this afternoon, you are in the midst, God. And, God, we thank you, Father God, that no weapon formed against us will prosper in Jesus' name. No weapon formed against the prayer line will prosper in Jesus' name. No weapon formed against our families, our ministries, God, uh, will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against backlash. We come against retaliation. Lord, we thank you, Father God, that she's going to have your way, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we just cry out, God, with everything within us, God. And, God, we ask you right now, God, to renew our hearts, God. Oh, God, and do a work in us, God. Renew our minds, God. Right now, some of our minds just need to be renewed because we're thinking about everything except for Jesus. So, God, I pray right now that our minds, God, will be renewed in the name of Jesus Christ, God. And, God, I pray right now, Father God, Yes, that you can purify, purify us, God. Purge us, God. Prune us, God. Whatever is in us that's not of you, God, get it out. In the name of Jesus Christ, God. And, God, we just make uh, intercession, God, for this nation, God. There's so much going on, God. Every time we turn around with something crazy and some kind of demonic agenda is coming to the forefront, so, God, we just come against it now in Jesus' name, God. You said the firm and effectual prayers of the righteous avail it much, God. And, God, you have raised up intercessors. You have raised up, God, us to pray and intercede. You tell us, God, and you command us, God, in your word, God, to pray all kinds of prayers and supplications, God. Always make an intercession for the saints, God. You told us to pray for leadership, God. You told us to be constant and consistent in prayer, God. So, God, that's what we're doing, Lord, today, God. So, God, right now, Lord, we just want to pray right now just for us. We just put on the full armor of God right now in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. God, we put on the belt of truth, God, the breastplate of righteousness, God, the shoes of the gospel of peace, God, the helmet of salvation, oh God, the shield, God, of, of, of faith, the quench, the fire of dust to the, the wicked one, God. And God, we decree and declare we got the sword of the Lord right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. And we're going to pray in our heavenly language always, Father, in the name of Jesus. So, God, we thank you. And we plead the blood of Jesus upon us, God, and we thank you, God. We put a bloodline between us and the enemy before we engage this stronghold in the name of Jesus. Lord, God, you see the wickedness, God. God, you see the homosexuality, God. You see uh, the enemy trying to pervert, God, which you have authorized to be true, Lord. We see the enemy trying to twist, God, your, the marriage uh, covenant, God. We see the enemy trying to twist, God, Lord, uh, genders. We see the enemy trying to twist, God. Uh, Lord, just uh, who can have babies and who can have um, uh, uh, ministrations. Uh, God, we see the enemy trying to just plant seeds of confusion. But, God, we know that, God, you're not the author of confusion. So every time we look around on media, every time we look, God, Lord, on the television, every time we look out on an uh, ad or something, God, and we see confusion, we know that's not you, God. We know that's the enemy, Lord. So, God, we ask you right now, God, to even raise up, and God is doing it right now. God is going to raise Raise up his people. God is raising up people to fill in some of these vacancies in the media. God is going to raise up some of his, some of his people to come on to dominate the, the seven mountains of influence. Lord God, I thank you, Father God, right now, Lord, that, yeah, da, 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 shit, that, da, 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 shit, that the stronghold, God, of perversion will just fall down, God. That the stronghold of perversion, God, will fall down in the nation. That the stronghold of perversion, God, will fall down in the nation. God, the spirit has penetrated some of our minds. The spirit has penetrated some of our hearts. The Spirit has penetrated some of our children. But, God, we stand in the gap today, God, and we come against this stronghold. And, God, you said the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God for pulling down strongholds. So, God, we call forth on you, God, and your power, God, to pull down this demonic stronghold. We come against same-sex attraction right now in the name of Jesus. God, we just come against, Lord God, just the enemy trying to uh, put seeds in our children's hearts and trying to make our kids feel like they're curious or bisexual. The devil is a liar. We just come against the enemies trying to confuse our kids or confuse people, God, about who their sexuality is. If they're born, God, Lord, with a, kind of saying it in a nice way, God, they're born, God, with 
men part their man. They're born with a woman part their woman. And that's it, God. God, you said in the beginning that you created male and female. In your likeness, God, you created them, God. So that's it, God. So, God, I just ask you right now, God, to just uproot this demonic agenda, uproot this demonic assignment from hell, God. Uproot it now in the name of Jesus. Uproot this stuff out of the education system. Uproot this stuff right now, God, out of the the media. Uproot this stuff right now, God, out of, you know, just the apps they put on apps and just just trying to force this stuff, God. Lord, down our kids' throat, down our throats, God, in the name of Jesus. Uproot this spirit out of the beauty industry, God. God. God, it is perverse, God, to see a man wearing wigs, God, women wigs and putting on makeup and eyelashes like a woman. It is perverse, God, to see a man trying to wear, you know, shapers and stuff like he's a woman. God, we pray for these men's souls, God. We pray for their souls, God. These men out here, God, that's confused about their sexuality. God, we pray right now that they repent and they get delivered, God, <clears throat> in the name of Jesus. And let's come against this thing that's trying to choke me up. I bind you up in the name of Jesus. You're not going to stop this prayer devil today. You will not. Lord, we pray right now in the name of Jesus. Right now, God, for the women, God, that's confused about their identity, Lord. We pray that everyone that's confused about their identity, that they will know who they are, God, in you, and they will get delivered to have a relationship with you. But we pray for these women that want to be like men, God, that's shaving off their head, God, trying to act, look like a man, that's trying to wrap up their breasts, uh, their, their breasts God, to, to hide those, hide it, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray for the deliverance. We pray for their salvation. God, we just come against that spirit of confusion off of their lives. And, God, we thank you, God, that you will take them through the deliverance process, God, because when you do a work, God, you do a complete work, God. Some of us used to be sinners. Some of us used to be gay. Some of us used to be in those relationships. But, God, I thank you, Lord, for deliverance. Hallelujah, Lord. God, we pray for salvation, Lord. God, we just pray for salvation, even these kids, God. God, it's profane, God. When a three-year-old or five-year-old come out, they gay. The devil is a liar. So, God, we pray right now for purity, God. And, God, let these parents give an account, God. They're going to have to give an account, God, before you one day in the name of Jesus. And, God, we pray that these parents, God, they will raise their children in the fear and admiration of the Lord Jesus Christ. And, God, we pray right now for salvation, God. Come on, God. You can take the person that's deep down in that lifestyle, God. Deep down, come on, in homosexuality and set them free, God. Yes, Lord, you can, God. Nothing's too hard for you, Father. God, in the name of Jesus, God, it's not your will, God, Lord, to destroy, Father God, people. You, it's not your will, Father God. That's not what you want to do, God, but you have done it, God. You destroy cities, God, Sodom and Gomorrah, because of the perverseness, God. They even try to sleep with the angel that you sent, God. It was too wicked, God. In the name of Jesus, God, you are so merciful, God. You have given people time and time again, God, to repent, God. So, God, we thank you that you are having mercy, God. And, God, you're giving people just multiple uh, uh, chances to repent and to get it right. God, that's not only dealing with this spirit of everything, God, in all situations, God, in the name of Jesus. So, God, we pray right now, Father, just for salvation. God, we thank you, Lord, that you didn't kill us and take us out, God, when we were uh, ignorant, when we were doing some crazy stuff. So, God, for that alone, we just give you glory, and for that alone, we give you praise, God. God, we thank you, God, for the deliverance, God. Come on, God. God, we thank you, Lord, God. Lord, for those that have those tendencies, God, when they get delivered, God, do a complete work, God, that men, God, will be able to look at men as a brother and not uh, an potential, uh, 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 potential partner. God, we pray that the women will be able to look at women as sisters, God, and not uh, uh, somebody that they're attracted to, God. God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray right now, God, we just come against the, we just come against these demonic strongholds in the name of Jesus. We come against lust. Come on, we come against lust. I decree and declare, come on, come on, I decree and declare. For those that are married, God, I pray that, come on, if someone's spouse is on the DL, God, I pray for their deliverance in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, 
God, you can do it. You can do it in the name of Jesus, Lord. God, remove the residue, God. Remove any residue, God. Remove any residue, God. Remove any residue, God. Remove it. Fire, fire, fire the Holy Spirit right now. Some of us, God, even know people, God. Lord, that's in this lifestyle, God. My brother, God, is in this lifestyle, God. And, God, I pray that you deliver him and you set him free today, God. Somebody, family members in this lifestyle, I pray that you deliver that, their family, God, and set them free. Somebody that's going to listen to the recording, God, their family may be in this lifestyle. I pray you deliver them and set them free in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I pray that you demolish and destroy every evil work, every evil altar in the name of Jesus Christ, God. God, let some of these demonic shows, God, that's on the media, God, trying to force these agenda down people's throats. God, let it get, get taken off the air, God. And God, we thank you in advance because that's making room, God, for people like me. That's making room, God, for people, Lord, that's called to the media industry that you're dealing with to make film and um, creative content, God, in the name of Jesus. So, God, we thank you that more uh, more whole, whole content, wholesome content will come forth in the name of Jesus, Lord. God, with this upward perversion. God, perversion against religion, perversion, God, against education, perversion, God, against doctrine, perversion, God, against uh, our identity, gender. God, we just come against it all in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we just thank you, Father God, that we will never twist your truth, Father God. We thank you that the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth that leads us and guides us into all truth. So, God, we thank you, Lord, that we have an ear to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the church. So, Lord, we just uproot perversion. Uproot that now, God. So we'll never be bamboozled by the enemy. We will never be so quick to jump on a bandwagon and, and uh, just follow God, false prophets or false teachers and enemies of the cross. Lord, we ask you right now just to uproot this stronghold in the name of Jesus. Because, God, the enemy is on assignment to twist and pervert everything, God. Everything that you have made, Father, in the name of Jesus. But he won't win because he's defeated. Jesus Christ came to make a public spectacle of the enemy. Jesus Christ made a public spectacle of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, we thank you, Father. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord. God, we just come against perversion that entered the womb. Into the womb, God. God, we want to cut this thing up at the root, God. We want to chop it up at the root. God, chop it up at the root, God. Come on. Some people got these little kids out here in school, God, little boys putting on makeup and wearing uh, ponytails and, you know, wearing women clothes and shoes. God, we just pray right now that perversion that came in through the womb. In the name of Jesus, be uprooted now in Jesus' name, God. Oh, God, we pray right now, Father God, for these little girls, Lord, that's, you know, masculine. God, we pray right now that Come on, the perversion that came through the womb, come up out of them in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody in this line, you got someone like that in your family, and you're like, uh-uh, Lord, what is going on? In the name of Jesus, God, I pray that you just put a guard over our children. Put a guard, God, over our loved ones. Put a guard, Father God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, around our family, we prevent our family from doing something ungodly and, un and it's crazy in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray right now, Father God, uh, that any familiar spirits, Things in the bloodline, God, that will uh, try to cause behaviors, that, that try to cause molesters or pedophiles to rise up, God. We bind it up in the name of Jesus, Lord. We ask you, God, to purify our, blood, our bloodline, God. Some of us have been molested. Some of us have been sexually violated. Some of us have been taken advantage of. But, God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for purifying, God, our bloodline. And we have uh, been adopted. Then we cry out, Abba, Abba, Father. We have been adopted into the bloodline of Christ Jesus, the bloodline from an Abrahamic bloodline. We're grateful, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that we're not for forsaken, we're not forgotten, God. God, so we thank you, Father God, that familiar spirits break in the name of Jesus. I don't care if that devil thinks he has been assigned to our bloodline. We bind it up and we take authority right now in the name of Jesus. So, God, we thank you, Father God, that no weapon, no weapon formed against us will prosper in the name of Jesus. So, Lord, we thank you, Father God. And I just come against the distractions in the name of Jesus. I put my phone on. Do not disturb. So I should not be getting no calls. Lord, I thank you, Father God, right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Father God, right now, Father, that the, the generational curses are broken through Christ Jesus. Any generational curse on our bloodline, break it now. In the name of Jesus, break it now. In the name of Jesus, break it now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we just come against right now, God. Lord, just demonic agenda that's trying to filter, God, your content, God. 
Lord, the enemy is trying to shut the church down. The enemy is trying to prevent us from preaching the whole truth of your word, trying to accuse us of preaching hate crimes. Posting the scripture, God, posting your word is not a hate crime, God. Lord, so God, we just, just silence the accuser of the brethren. God, silence every lie of the enemy now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, if, if some of these media pages, God, our, our networks put filters and stuff, blockages, God, on our pages and trying to filter us and try to control what we post, God. Talking about it, it goes against the community standards of the hate crime. God, we ask you right now just to uproot that in Jesus' name. Right now, God. And God, we thank you for even raising up more godly, uh, more co- uh, God is getting ready to raise up more platforms, godly platforms in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you that we will not be controlled. We will not be manipulated. We will not be censored or shut down in the name of Jesus. We will not alter the gospel of Christ Jesus to make somebody feel comfortable in the name of Jesus. God, we pray right now for every false church, Lord, that they will repent, God. So so many false ministries and so many false churches, God, they take certain things out of the scripture, and they said, they don't apply to me. That's old. But, God, that's a lie from the pits of hell, God. We know, God, according to your word, Lord, that heaven and earth may pass away, but your word remains. So, God, we thank you, Father God, that you honor your word above your name. So, God, we just bind up every lie right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And, God, we pray right now, God, for those, God, that's building uh, doctrines on falsehood, God. We pray that they repent, God, and, God, that that mess will be shut down in the name of Jesus. And they will come on, come up out of that delusion, come up off of that, those demonic strongholds, and they will repent, God, and they'll get Save for real, get delivered for real, and become a, a true disciple of Jesus Christ. Lord, in the name of Jesus, and God, I pray that you will show them the error of their ways, God. God, there's so many people in error, God, so many people, God, that just just got a stronghold over their mind, God. Break that demonic stronghold. Break it, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, God. And we pray right now, now even for us, God, we pray that we protect our eye gates. Come on, our eye gates, in the name of Jesus Come on, we protect our ear gates. Uh, even when we look at things that seem harmless, God, like looking at, you know, just uh, undergarments, God. Lord, I pray that we protect our eye gates. If we're trying to surprise our spouses with things like that, I pray we protect our eye gates and not lust after the models. God, you'd be surprised, God. You know, God, people lusting after the models, God. Lord, that's just trying on these garments. God, we pray right now that we just protect our eye gates, protect our ear gates in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray right now, Lord. Come on. God is, yeah, yes, God, yes, God. Come on. He wants pure, pure vessels. Come on, God. We just come against every unclean spirit inside of us. Come out. Every unclean spirit, come up out of us. In the name of Jesus, fire of the Holy Spirit. We bind you. Come up out in the name of Jesus. Every defiled spirit that comes to the foul, come up out. In the name of Jesus, every demonic spirit that's attached to our souls, we bind you. Come out. In the name of Jesus, we take authority right now, God, of every demonic force that will try to attach itself to our souls. We take authority. We bind it up. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy we will never backslide. We will never go back into the world. We will never turn our backs on you, God. God, yeah, 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 my da, 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 share God, we love you, Lord. Because we love you, God, we're going to follow your commands, God. Because we love you, God, we will not grieve your spirit, Lord. So, God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that we can guard these eye gates. Come on, we're not going to lust. Come on, we're not going to, come on, we're not going to lust. God, you said it, it's an abomination, God. I don't care what the devil's trying to say. God, it's an abomination, God, for a man to lie down with another man like he's lying down with a woman. And it's an abomination, God, for a woman to lie down with a, uh, uh, with a woman like she's laying down with a man, God. It is a, an abomination, God. Come on. So, Lord, we pray right now for purity, God. Purify us, purchase God as a whole, God. God, I know the enemy is trying to run rampant and uh, get in places of influence, God. But, God, we know that you, God, come on, you take one down and you raise up another, God. God, so we thank you, God, for you sending godly influence, even in the mess of this uh, this 
crazy stuff that's going on in a nation, God. God, we thank you that, yeah, 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 Marisha, that we have ears to hear you, God. Come on to enter into these arenas, God. So we can just go and be about our father's business, God. Just like Daniel, God. Lord God, he was called to the king's palace. He was called in the position of government, God. But God, you use him mightily, God. Come on, in the name of Jesus Christ, God. So God, we just come against disobedience, God. And for some of those that disobeyed, God, when you was trying to get us out of our comfort zone to go into these arenas to be a light in dark places, God. And we didn't do it, God. We repent, God. We cry out for your mercy, God. And we even ask for another chance, God, to just get it right. God, in the name of Jesus Christ, God, because, God, we don't have time, God, to be in disobedience. We don't have time, God, to be grieving you. We don't have time to be allowing the enemy to run rampant through our life because of disobedience. So, God, we are sorry, God, but, God, we know that you are calling us to do great exploits, God, so we want to be in sync with your spirit, God. We want to be in sync with you, Lord, so come on to be able, God, to just be able to yield and say yes to the calling. Come on, you got to say yes to the calling of God. Say, ah, my Yes, God, even if it don't feel good to our flesh, I prophesy we'll be spirit-led and not flesh-led in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, I ask you, God, to remove ungodly influences out of our lives, God. Come on, God. Yes, Lord. You told us, God, that we are blessed, God. Those that don't walk in the seat of the sinners or stand in the, uh, uh, just the path of the scorners, God, we are blessed, Lord. So, God, I pray that we will influence them. We, and they're not going to influence us. Come on. God is, God, yeah, 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 yeah. I want you guys, my God, to be remind, just, just, just mindful of your company that you keep. God, you, you tell us, God, in your word, Father God, that bad company corrupts good morals, God. So, God, we pray right now, God, right now just for the, 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 my dear, that, 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 the people in our circle. Come on. Come on. I know we are called. Come on, the minister to the sinners. Come on. Come on. But they should not be influencing you. Come on, somebody's got to influence somebody, and you should be influencing them to Christ Jesus. So, God, I pray for wisdom to witness to this group of individuals, God. Come on, wisdom, God. Give us wisdom, God, to minister, God, to those that are deep, God, in homosexuality. Y'all don't want to talk about this today. God, give us wisdom, God, to be able to minister, God, to those, Father God, that are deep in uh, perversion, deep, God, and maybe they're in relig- uh, 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 just the wrong religion, God, false religion. Religion, God. We just ask you, God, for wisdom. Show us how to minister to those that are broken and hurting and lost. God, show us, God, how to just love them, God. Lord, they know what they're doing is wrong. They know, and, and oh, some of them don't got peace. Some of them on drugs and alcohol. Their life is really chaotic, God. So we ask you right now just to give us the wisdom to be able to witness to these kind of people, God. In the name of Jesus, bless us not to come from a judgmental place, but a place of love, God. God, I ask you right now that you would just use us so powerfully, God, in the realm of the spirit, God. Stir up the spiritual gifts inside of us. Somebody needs to lay hands on your belly right now because the spiritual gifts are getting ready to be stirred. So, God, I ask you right now to step these gifts of prophecy. Come on. Step the gifts of word of knowledge. Ah, ha, ha, Step the gifts, God. Come on, of healings. and Step the gifts, God. Yada, da, 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 work of the miracles. Step the gifts of the word of wisdom. Step the gifts, God. Come on. Stir it up, God, right now, God, so we'll be able to speak a word, God, to someone's life that's deep in sin, God, that will turn the world upside down so they can seek your face. God, so they get to come to know you, Father. Stare it up. Fire, 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 the Holy Spirit to touch in Jesus' name. Come on. Stare up the gifts, God. In the name of Jesus, come on. We're not going to come from a judgmental place. Come on. They know that what they're doing is wrong. Come on, we're going to have the love of the Father, and people are going to get saved. God, you say, who he went, he who went souls is wise. So, God, I pray that we be those wise people, those wise soul winners, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, I pray right now that their mindsets will be renewed by your word, God. Come on, our mindsets will be renewed by, by your word, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that they will, won't be conformed to this world, but it will be transformed, God, by the renewing of their minds, God. So, God, we pray right now, God, that we just uproot every false doctrine and every false teaching. Right now, you just uproot that stuff. Uproot that stuff. Uproot that stuff, God. Uproot that stuff. Uproot it right now in the name of Jesus that you just uproot every false belief, every false doctrine. Tell me I was born this way. Nope, they were not born that way. And, God, we just come against lies. 
lies, talking about the people want to twist the scripture. Well, David was born in the sin in his mother's womb, but God, that's a lie from the pits of hell. God, we pray right now, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that every false doctrine, every false belief, we bind it up. God, we cast it down. We cast it down. You tell us to cast down imaginations. So, God, we cast it down. We cast it down. We cast it down in the name of Jesus. And we take every thought into the captive of Christ Jesus, into the obedience of Christ Jesus. We take every thought, come on, every thought in the stronghold. We bind it up, and we bring those thoughts into sub, the subjection of Christ Jesus right now in the name of Jesus. And God, we just give you glory, God. And, God, if anyone on here, God, is struggling, God, and they're feeling attracted to the opportunity, his sex, God, and yadadi, it's a private moment. Come on, you just lift hands to the Father. God, we ask you right now that you will touch them now in Jesus' name. You will touch them, God, in this upward perversion. You will touch them, God, now in the name of Jesus and purify, purify, God, our hearts and minds unto you, God. And, God, we pray right now that it will be nothing inside of us, God, that will grieve you. Lord, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, and I pray right now. Pure, pure vessels, pure vessels. Come on, God, if we got any perversion on us, God, get it out of us, God. We take authority over it now. If we believe the lie, God, come on, God. I pray that our minds will be renewed today. In the name of Jesus, come on. Somebody needs to put their hands up to God. Right now, everybody needs to just be crying out to God. Come on, because perversion is not always sexual. Perversion is the twisting of God's truth. Come on, that's what the devil does. So anytime we believe a lie, come on, we're in perversion. Anytime we come into agreement with the devil, when the devil tells us that we cannot do something, when God already said we can't do all things to Christ, come on, you're in perversion. So we come against the spirit of perversion right now, God. Anytime we believe doubt over your word, God, that's perverse. Anytime, God, we do the opposite, God, of what you're telling us to do, that is perversion. So we take authority over it right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bind up the spirit of perversion. We command it to come up out right now in the name of Jesus. We come against fear. Come on. We bind up fear. We bind up fear. If you're having fear right now here, you need to put some hands on your belly right now, and I command that spirit to come out of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, God. Come on, so for the next two minutes before we shift this line, come on. I want everybody to cry out to God for a fresh dwelling. Come on. Every day we need a fresh touch from heaven. I know you're hurting. I know you're going through some financial problems. I know that feel like the enemy has everything out. You know, the, the enemy trying to take over, but the devil is a liar. Come on. I know you're going through something. God knows. But God says as you lift your hands to him, he's going to protect the things that's concerning you. As you lift your hands to him and as you trust him, come on, more than what your this circumstances, watch him move in your life. So everybody on here, we didn't come on here to spectate. We didn't come on here, come on. We need to really be crying out to heaven today. God, yes, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. She got your heavenly language. Thank you, Jesus. And so forth. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah, God. Yes, God, touch this nation, God. Oh, Lord, my God, I shed a more fresh and dwelling, God. God, give us a fresh outpour of your spirit today, God. Yes, shed a more Oh, God, yes, God. Yes, God, yes, God, yes, God. She God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, God. Rishi, more God, we thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. I feel your presence, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. God, I feel your presence, Lord. Thank you, God. Yes, Lord, I pray that we'll be sensitive to your spirit, Father. We'll be sensitive to you, Father. And God, even though you're giving us messages to preach, it may not be popular, but God, we're going to go with you, Father God. Lord, we thank you. Just call us back at 855 Yes, God, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm going to transition. I feel like somebody didn't want to cry out today. Maybe it was a sensitive mm-hmm. topic. I don't know. But this is a stronghold that needs to be taken down. Amen. We've seen this stronghold since the age of time. It's been a problem ever since 
you know, in the, in the Old Testament. That's why God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. It, it's been a problem, you know, and it's perverse. Uh-huh. You know, just like God had rose up some prophets in Scripture. And uh, one of the problems in those days was there was a lot of um, paganism. And one of the things that the pagans used to do was to have orgies. They used to have, uh, uh, you know, sex to God, you know, these false gods, right? So it's been an issue. They used to have a temple prostitutes. Imagine you go into the house of the Lord to worship, and it's a prostitute in these, in these places of worship. And, you know, and they, 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 they didn't care if you was male or female. You know, they would screw anyone. You know, so it's crazy. So it's, it's really a stronghold. It needs to really be addressed and need to be taken down. You know, it's a sensitive topic. Amen. And I just thank God for my deliverance because I don't know if you know this about me or not. If I never really share this testament. I only talk about it when it's necessary. But the, the, the book I just wrote, one of the books I wrote recently, you know, in 2020 was the Pastor's Secret, the DL series. That means the download series because there's so many people that's on the download. So God began to deal with me like you have to start telling your testimony more. So I, so um, he gave me this creative um, content, a nonfictional story for those that are thinking about going into that lifestyle. And you got to have self-control, which is one of the fruits of the Spirit. So those that are thinking about going into that lifestyle, they will realize the consequences of sin. So back, I had backslid around like 2012, I want to say, and I got in a, a relationship. I had a girlfriend, and we were like together for six months. And she had anxiety, and because she had anxiety, that spirit came in my life, right? And I'm telling you this because I'm telling you, God is so good. So to make a long story short, I repented. I renounced that sin. God delivered me from that stronghold. You hear me? He delivered me from that stronghold. So if somebody's struggling with that, your child is struggling with that, God can set you free. So y'all know my story about anxiety. I had it for five years because of my sin. It's not worth sinning against God. I don't care what it is. You know, if you if you want pressure to have sex, say no. I'm gonna wait till I get married to have sex. If somebody's trying to pressure you to do something crazy, just say no because it's not worth it. It's not worth sinning against God because guess what? Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. And peace is a gift. And I love the peace that I have now. I I, I guard this peace, right? So we gotta really be a good steward of what everything God has given us. So I love God's peace. So I I, I, I choose to keep it. So when I backslid and I was in the, and I opened up a portal to hell, you hear me? The devil told me every single day he hated me. He's gonna kill me, and I had no peace. But my God, so it's it's it's, it's, it's beautiful to just to live right and to serve God, and God can take your mess and make it into a message. So this is why I'm passionate about it. And now God is giving me a beauty business. And I'm so grieved and vexed. I used to support some of these companies like Maybelline. That's one of them. And some other stuff is another uh, Shaperwear. I think it's called Shaperwear. I, I, I will not, not, I'm not going to support them no more. I start supporting these companies because they, they, they bow down. You know, they, they, they started allowing this, the LGBT community to, just to penetrate that. So God, this is why God is dealing with some of us in this season and giving us businesses. I never th- wanted to have, you know, a, a beauty business, but God was on me to do it. Why? And some of you guys on here, God is calling you to that, that, that industry. God is calling you to do that because guess what? There's so many perverse things. Matter of fact, today I'm, on, my, on my media page, or my, I was strolling on Facebook, I saw this, this guy putting on the eyelashes. The devil is the light. It's perverse. Right? Then I saw this guy, he put he got slayed, you guys. He put on the wig, uh the, the the makeup, everything, and he looked just like a woman. So this is like perverse, right? You can't even tell now uh who's a man or a woman in half these days and you know, they're trying to push trends down our throat, but the devil is a liar. So anywho, some of you guys are gonna begin just to see yourself, you know, doing more godly con uh, content. This is another reason why God said, hey, you know, he gave me a children's book series because the devil's trying to force stuff down our children's throats, right? So God will begin to even deal with us even in the season to step out your comfort zone and create because he is such a genius. I'm telling you, listen, because this year started, this has started off as a good year for me because God has given me so many ideas. You, many of you guys don't know I've written 30 books, but God has given me many more books, not only books, but film and just all kind of great stuff. So I just can't wait. My God, I just can't wait, right? It comes from him. It comes from heaven. So some of you guys may not have that anointing to create, but I just impart it into you now in Jesus' name. But you got to catch it by faith. you got to catch it by faith because God needs people on these front lines. And I wish 
to church with some saying everything's the devil. Everything is not the devil. That's, that's exactly, that's right, receive it, woman. You got to be hungry. You know, everything is not the devil. For example, when television first came out, the church was like, that's the devil. No, it's not. You know, it's crazy. I never forget, I was watching TV one day, and it was a psychic. The psychic had a show. Come on, the psychic is being paid to be on television. But when you want to be on television, we got to pay thousands of dollars. I said, the devil is a liar. I'm not going to pay thousands of dollars to be on TV. God is giving me my own network. Come on, somebody, in the name of Jesus. And why am I? Yes, God. And come on, it's my assignment. And come on, you you better receive this word, somebody, on this line today. Come on. God is giving you things. He has given you businesses so we can go back and dominate these arenas. Go back and take territory that the devil once mm-hmm. had back to the kingdom of God. Come on. I right, come on, y'all. Right, receive it today. in the name of Jesus. Receive it. That's right. Amen. Come Thank on, you receive it. This particular business. Come on, selling T-shirts and stuff like that. T-shirts are the money. We got Why can't you have a? Come on, why can't you have a t-shirt business for God? Come on, this cleaning businesses, the demonic. Come on, why can't you have a cleaning business? Come on, Angela's husband. Come on, right? Come on, Miss Leslie, right? Come on, a tax business for Amen. God. Amen. I mean, for in God. In the name of Jesus, for my husband, in Jesus' name. In That's Jesus. right. Jesus. Yes. Come on. Uh, come on, a Christian curriculum. You know how many demonic mm-hmm. curriculums out here trying to force this stuff down our kids' throat? Mm-hmm. Come on, godly teachers. That's dominating the education system. Come on. Oh, my God. Y'all got me preaching today. Right? So I, I, I bless God. So I thank God. So I pray in this season that you really are just drawn to God as never before and really come back into that place of intimacy because you don't want to miss these assignments. When I tell you this, this thing is real, listen, God gave me a dream, you guys, and this dream, like, really shook me up. This dream really, really um, just like, God, you – you, you want me to do this? But when I tell you if I do this, it's going to bring another stream of income in my life, right? And listen, I don't care what's going on in the economy. Look, at we, we're blessed in this mess, and God don't mm-hmm. want you broke. Why? Because if mm-hmm. you're broke, you don't have a voice. If you're broke, mm-hmm. you can't reach nobody. <laughs> mm-hmm. you can't, you're not going to reach as many people, right? Okay. Amen. <laughs> if you're broke, you worry about little small stuff. God, I don't know where I'm going to lay my head at. But God is raising up a remnant that's saying, you know what? Thank you, God. I ain't worried about money. You know, come on. I'm not trying to serve money. Money's going to serve me. I'm telling money what to do, right? I'm going to show up, and the kingdom of heaven is showing up with me. Right? Amen. Amen. Come on. Some of you guys are stepping out. You're doing things out of your comfort zone, things that you never thought you can do. But you, listen, <sighs> my God, I don't think y'all catching it. Some of you guys are. There is an anointing for like building wealth. Some of you guys don't even mm-hmm. have wealth. If you were to die today, you could leave your family nothing, right? Absolutely nothing. But God is putting us in a position because God says a good man leaves an inheritance for the children's children, right? So I prophesy we're going to leave an inheritance for our children's children. Amen. So our children can pick up the that. torch. They're going to pick up the torch and run with it. I decree that in our Amen. lives. They're picking up the torch and they're Jesus running with name. that. Thank you, Father. Right? Yes, Lord. Come on. All right now. So I pray that really spoke to you. Amen. But I pray uh, something said today, bless you. Let me just give you this announcement. So um, if you want to bless the ministry, you can go to my website at prophetisk.org or you can go to my uh, cash app, which is cash app, dollar sign, prophetess Kim. Amen. God is doing some amazing things. Uh, I will be back on tonight at 7 o'clock. If you want to join my uh, YouTube membership, if you want to partner with the ministry, you know, kind of support what I'm doing, amen. And those, you get a lot of sneak peeks. So far this week, I released a prophetic conference I did. I released, uh, I think, an article, you know, um, about the uh, David generation. God gave me a prophetic word. It's a prophetic article. You can read that. Also, uh, there was two sneak peeks of the magazine, Rejoice Essential Christian Magazine. Uh, if you never checked that out, please check it out. Go to our website at rejoice, rejoiceessential.com. Check it out, rejoiceessential.com. But I put two sneak articles on there. People have uh, sneak peeks of that. So tonight we're going to talk about the, in, the insignificant woman, and we're going to talk about conflict resolution, how to deal with conflict, and some more keys to, uh, to empower you guys, all right? So we're going to talk about that. Um, one of the things also, uh, Wednesday nights, if you guys are interested, if you have a word, 
you know, from God, if you're interested in serving on a Wednesday night, then you can email me. Make sure you go to my website and send me a message, all right, so we can consider you, all right? But um, we're going to kick it off next Wednesday at 7 p.m. The guy has been on me, 7 p.m. You know, I'm like, God, oh, God, I got so much already. But he's like, you need to do this. You need to do this. So 7 p.m., we're going to be, be back on the line every every Wednesday at 7 p.m. We'll be kicking it off with Prophet and Sholanda, all right? And also in our group, if you're not a part of our Facebook group, make sure you join Intercessors That War. We do have our own T-shirt, so you can get that T-shirt from Rejoice in Beauty. And while you're there, you can get other Christian apparel, all right? But um, make sure you join because Saturday, this, the 23rd, which is a Saturday at 1 p.m., Prophetess Tawana is going to come forth. So we're going to start doing more videos and things like that, more teachings. And uh, so I just bless God for that, all right? So, again, uh, if you join me tonight, I'll give you some sneak peeks. God is doing something amazing, and I can't wait to share, but I only share with the people that's in the, mem- uh, the, the YouTube membership, all right? So, and, again, it's YouTube, so you can watch the replay whenever you want to, and it's three different levels, all right? The higher the level, the more peaks and perks you get, all right? So, uh, with that note, God is good. I thank God for my deliverance, amen, from homosexuality. Woo! So, that's my praise report, even that it's old, and that's what we're praying for. Amen. Come on. And Amen. somebody, if your if your child is dealing with that, God can do it for your child. It's nothing too hard <laughs> for him. Come on, I could be a, I could be a wild one. I could be a stripper. Look, God could be out there. You like listen, I feel like I done did everything underneath the sun. I was I, I would say this. I say, God, it seems like the, the worst sinners make the best Christians when they get saved, right? I uh, that's Amen. what I always to the Lord. Because you look at you look at Apostle Paul, he was like out there killing Christians. Well, he became the mm-hmm. best Christian, right? <laughs> Amen. Right, he wrote most of the New Testament. So I'm like, okay, God. So, anywho, God is good. Does anybody got a place report? Hello? Yes, God bless you. How are you? I'm good, thank you, too. I'm well, how are you? Um, uh, yes, I have a place report. Um, a, a couple of months ago, my name is Kayla. A couple of months ago, um, I called... Uh, for prayer for my last semester of college, and um, I fin- I just finished my final semester of college, and um, graduate or will be graduating with honors. Yay! Hallelujah! Uh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen! Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank yeah. you, God. It's powerful. Yeah. Come on. Thank, Thank you, God. What honor. What honor. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. I love it. Thank you, God. All right. Who's next? I am. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, Prophetess. This is Leslie. <laughs> My God. My sister called me, and we're not even close. But I've been praying for unity, and let me just tell you how God is just moving, moving so greatly. So she t- called me to ask me an opinion on a business. And so I was in agreeing with the business, and I was, we were discussing tips. And can I say the business already started less than five days? So when I tell you multiple streams of income, God is doing it. It's a need, and what she's saying, and it's called uh, elderly care services, and I'll be posting more stuff about it on Facebook. But when I tell you God is moving, God is moving. My God. And just say, I'm next. Another stream of income. (laughs) Yeah. Amen. 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 Heaven has, we have, we're kingdom citizens, so we have our own economy to pray. This is why it's so important. All right? Amen. All right. So, <laughs> amen. That's, that's powerful. Thank you, God. All right. Anyone else got a praise report? I have one. Okay. I give God the praise and the glory, and I thank God for what he's doing in my life. Praise God. I thank God for uh, this ministry. You know, uh, I've been coming on here for a minute, and uh, I'm one of those women who uh, do not like to cook, and I'm a nookie girl. If I could get it in the microwave, I'm going to eat it, and that's it. 
And so I give God a praise and glory even for that. And I've been doing that for years. And so uh, I've, you know, I've been going to the doctor, and the doctor told me I had to change the way I was eating and everything. So I changed, started changing the way I was eating, and, and I knew after I started doing that, I was going to have to start cooking. But mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you, uh, Prophet Kim, it's a bunch of women on this line that be cooking and cooking and cooking because since I started that, that I just been cooking. I just been eating cooking food and cooking, cooking every day for at least the last two months. Well, I just give God a praise and glory that that spirit of cooking and, and eating. I'm having to watch my weight, praise the Lord. So I thank <laughs> God for how he's blessing me through the women, even though I'm not even knowing that he's blessing me. So I just give God a praise and glory. And y'all pray my attention to the Lord. Amen. Thank you, God. Praise 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 Mm-hmm. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, that's we have to rejoice, something. even with the extra weight. I always tell people that's ex- extra uh, me to love. I, I, I just yeah. give you more me to love. That's it. I know yeah. that's right. <laughs> <laughs> give that man something to hold on to. Now, let me stop. Let me stop cutting up. All right. Anybody else got a prayer support before we transition? Hello? Yeah. How you doing, Ms. Angela? Hey, this is Angela. Um, I was on here, uh, thank, first of the week, <laughs> uh, one day, what, uh, I forgot what day it was, and complaining about my arm, my shoulder, because it was sore. I couldn't hardly move it. It was like, felt like it was cramping. Well, not, today I'm sitting in here in front of the mirror on the prayer line, doing re- rebraiding my hair with my hand up, my arm up. So I just oh, thank yes. God for that. You know, thank God for that. I'm able to thank pull God. it up and yes. move it, and it's not hurting or anything, and I just thank God for that. Amen. That was Wednesday. Wednesday we prayed. Amen. Wednesday. Okay. Wednesday. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. No. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 And I prophesy as she prayed for someone else, God will he will move on in your situation. Amen. Let's go ahead and pray and uh greetings. How are you? Hi, Dr. K. This is Allison. Good. How are you? I'm well. Um I was just asking for prayer. I've been um just for insight as to what the Lord wants me to do this year and for me to come into alignment with his plans for me this year. Amen. Just to be aware of that. Lord, we thank you, Father. Thank you. God, we thank you, Father. God, we thank you, Father. Yes, Lord, we just lift you up, Father, and Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, I just thank you that my mouth, Lord, belongs to you. And God, we thank you that you touch it and fill it, Lord, for your servant, Allison, God. So we thank you, Father, God, right now, Father, that, Lord, your will, God, will be done in her life, God, in 2021 and beyond, God. Lord, we just come against distractions and we just come against, Lord, God, just, Lord, just setbacks in the name of Jesus Christ. And, thank Lord, you, we thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, you, that you, God, will even show me her heart, God, and give me some insight, God, into her life. In the name of thank Jesus you. Christ, God, we pray. You, Lord. And, Lord, we just thank you, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. You, and, God, I thank you. And for some reason, I'm seeing like this, 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 I'm seeing a couch, and I'm seeing this chain around the couch, a rope around the couch. And, Lord, we pray right now, God, Mm -hmm. that any uh, bondage will break off in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, that she will not get comfortable, God, Lord, just in uh, just. She will not get comfortable, Father God, in, in lack, or she won't get comfortable, God, and not having enough, God, but she will go forward, God. And you, Father, she will go forward, and she will thank move you, forward Jesus. right now in Jesus' name. And, God, we thank you that she'll get her uh, momentum back through you, Father God, and she'll thank do you, things, Jesus. God, that she thought she could never do, Father God, for you. you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank and, you. Lord, we thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank and we thank, thank you, Father. We thank you. Thank in the name of Jesus. And, thank you. Um, I'm, I see, I see like wallpaper being put up 
So, Lord, I thank you, Father God, that even I believe that the Lord is just rebranding you and just, like, remaking you, like, making you over. And, God, I thank you mm-hmm. and repolishing you, God. And I just thank, thank you, Father you, God, that, uh, yes, God, yeah, that is, she go, do, 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 she you, that's you. It is like allow God to just rebrand you and just polish you up, you know, be, and, and before you launch, if that makes sense. Lord, so, God, I yeah. thank you, Lord, that you're you. rebranding her, making her new, like, just, it, it, I feel like God is giving you a new sound. I feel like God is giving you like a, uh, like he's going to rebrand yourself, your message, and uh, you, just your ministry. And I thank you, Father God, in the name thank of you, Jesus Christ, Lord, for that, thank in you, the Lord. name of Jesus. So, Lord, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. Thank Lord, you. that all is well, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, God. We thank you, Father God, all is well, Lord. Thank and God, we just come against any attacks on our mind, God. Thank we just come against any attacks, God. You, and God, we just thank you, Father God, thank right you. now. She'll be in her right mind, God, yes, in the name Lord. of Jesus. And God, we in thank Jesus you, Father name. God, that you are even proud your spirit upon her as never before proud of fresh thank God, you, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank God. You, Jesus. And we thank you, Father God. And don't be afraid, woman of God, to just step out and just allow the spirit of the Lord just to minister creativity unto you. Don't be afraid just to do things mm-hmm. even out of your comfort zone. Because I saw you on this couch, and I saw this thing around it, and I felt like, you know, when you try to step out and do things that is like in, in, in a realm of creativity, it's like some hesitation yeah. there. But don't be afraid. And I pray that you will go forth, you. and you will not hesitate, and you won't procrastinate, but you just go Thank forth. You, and later for what people think, later for people's opinions, amen, because you got to please Jesus. God as never before. Yeah. And I thank you, Father God, thank right you, now, Jesus. Lord, that even our house, God, Thank right you, now, God. it's in order, God. And I thank you, Father God, right thank now, you, that you've been dealing with anything, God, like insecurities. We bind yes, it up Lord. in the name of Jesus, God. Thank and God, she's coming forth, God, with power. She's coming forth, God, with anointing. She's coming thank forth you, right Jesus. now. Yes, Lord, yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus, Lord. Yes. And I thank you, Father God, that it gets inside of her that's been laying dormant, God, will be yes, stand yes. up, God, will be activated, will be sharpened, God, thank as you. never before. She's coming forth, God. Yes, thank Lord, you, she's Jesus. coming forth thank in the name you, of Jesus. Jesus. And the Lord be, God, right now, I begin to see. I'm, I'm, I begin to see like the, the vision from Revelation 19. Oh, Jesus on the clouds with angels. And he wants you to know, come on, heaven is back in wow. you. Heaven is for you. Thank heaven you, is back in you. Heaven is for you. And I thank you, Father God, thank right now, God. Lord. Right now, Marie, I thank you, Father God. Right now, God, that you have you you are clothing her, God. Right thank now, you, and we thank you, Lord. Right now, with, with your with your mantle. Thank you, God. And thank you, God, that you're covering her right now, God, from these thank attacks, you. demonic attacks. Yeah, and we thank, thank you, Father God, for strength. Thank we thank you, God, for strength. Strength. We thank you, God, for strength. We thank, thank you, God, for healing right now. Strength and thank healing in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We pray, Amen, Amen, Amen. So that's all I have. Thank you, you so much. Go forth and just what you know, whatever God shows you to say yes, God. Just give me the wisdom on how to do it. Give me the wisdom, God, Amen. And just thank and you. seek God for direction. Seek God for clarity. Seek God, and He'll show you how to to do. Yeah. I guess He'll give you the blueprints to move forward. And the create in the creative realm in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. I just want to speak on some of the things you said. Um, you said you saw me like on okay. the couch with like the chains around me, and I feel like that's something I've been struggling with a lot, like wanting to go forward, but literally feel like I was being bound and something was holding me back. And uh, even with the the, uh, the vision, you think you just said you have from Revelation Revelation 19. That was actually a dream the Lord gave me. I was in the clouds with heaven angels. And the Lord was like wow. floating towards me. I just thought that was amazing. Thank you so much, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. thank you, Prophet Kay. Amen. So, just as as a prophetic act, just shimmy like shimmy your shoulders, and anyone else has been like thank bound, you, like you're bound. Just do a shimmy shake. And God, we thank ask you, you right Lord. now, as they do shimmy shakes, God, you, God, that those chains, those shackles are broken. And she bind thank you, Jesus. Break. And God, Jesus lose freedom name. upon the woman of God. Lose freedom upon your thank people. Thank you, God. Name. Receive it, Jesus. Amen. Name. Thank you. All right, so I guess, you know, a couch, when I when I look at a couch, I think of comfortability. Like, yeah. you cannot get comfortable, no matter what. Yeah. Like, you know, sometimes, mm-hmm. like, you try, and he, like, it don't work out, and he's like, I just give up and get comfortable. Right. Nope, you can't. You got to never Amen. give up. Thank you, never Jesus. give up, right? Amen, <laughs> like, okay, thank but you. If it don't work out this time, I'm going to try harder. I'm going to go harder next time, right? Amen. Amen. All right. Thank so, you. Amen. So I, I bless God. Amy? Yes. Um, uh, I want to want you to uh, pray for two people. One is uh, one of my friends. She may be on the line, but she was, didn't want to. Um, she's not sure about saying anything yet, but um, 
or she having a problem going on with her heart and uh, her pressure. They're going up and down when she gets excited. And my pastor called me a little while ago and said that he was having a problem with his uh, prostate and back area. Could you please pray for them for me? Yeah, what's your, friend? what's your friend's name? Uh, Dorothy, Miss Dorothy. Dorothy, okay. I don't think I see a door. I uh, can't pronounce the name for nothing. I don't see, I don't think I see her on here. Dorothy? Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. So we'll, we'll pray for her. We'll touch and agree, and we'll pray for your pastor. Father, we Thank know that there's no time and distance in the spirit, Father God. And God, we Thank know you. that you're omnipresent. You're everywhere, Father. So God, you know where Thor, Dorothy is, and you know where the pastor's at. You know their location, Thank Father. You. So God, right now, as the intercessors is touch and agree, God, we know that one could put a thousand to flight, or what, one could chase a thousand, two could put... 10,000 on the flight, God. So we ask you right now, Father God, just to move any demonic entity, remove demonic spirits of affliction and infirmity. We bind it up right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And, Lord, we ask you to touch right now on Dorothy and the pastor in the name of Jesus. We bind up the strong men of uh, high blood pressure and cancer. We bind up the uh, strong men of sickness and disease. Right now in the name of Jesus, you said, God, we, we got to bind the strong men up first, then we can be able to spoil the good. So, God, that's what we're doing, Lord. So, God, we just pray right now, God, for their healing. By your stripes, Dorothy and his pastor is healed. In the name of Jesus, we just curse the high blood uh, pressure right now, God. And we just curse any heart disease right now in Jesus' name. And, God, we thank you, God, right now that the blood pressure will be normal. And we thank you, God, that the heart, God, will be normal and restore thee, God. And you'll be able to thank exercise you. and eat better in the name of Jesus. And, Lord, thank I thank you that you will even work a miracle on her body, God, where thank she you. would just uh, don't have to it take. Uh, the, the medicine, God, but you will heal her supernaturally as she changes her mm-hmm. diet and even exercise. In the name of Jesus, and we just look up the pastor, God. And God, we pray right now a miracle, God, over his prostrate, God. And we pray right now that if any enzymes are elevated, we command it to be normal, God. Right now, we pray right now for their diet, God. In the name of Jesus, for them to be healthy, God. By your stripes, your people are healed. In the name of Jesus, amen. And and I just feel like, you know, even for them and for some of us, the Lord wants us to be healthy. And you, some of you guys are going to begin to see God dealing with us with when it comes to diet and exercise. We have to change the mm-hmm. way we eat and just be mindful mm-hmm. of some of the food that's out there because some of that food is not good for us. You know, it's actually mm-hmm. killing us, you know, because so much mm-hmm. toxins mm-hmm. and preservatives and stuff in the food. So mm-hmm. we have to just be mindful of what we're putting in our body because the body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, Right. So I just see them just changing their diet, and God will begin to mm-hmm. deal with them for exercise. And we need to at least get 30 minutes a day of exercise, you know. Mm-hmm. So I just pray that God will give your pastor and Miss Dorothy the wisdom mm-hmm. to incorporate exercise within their day. You know, just, just mm-hmm. got to get it done, you know. So, amen. 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 So thank you so thank much, woman so of God. Much. Thank you so much. Great. All right, Michaela. Hello, uh, Miss K. Uh, this is Michaela, the yeah. one that gave uh, my pre support about graduating. Yeah. Um, I'm just asking uh, for a touch and agree in prayer that God will give me favor as I begin my job search and give me the job that he wants for me in my field uh, so that I'll be able to bless the ministry. Amen. And God, we just pray right now for Michaela and anyone else on here, Father, that's in the need of a job, Father. God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ that you bless them, Father God. Bless them, God, to get a job, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. And, God, we pray right now that your will be done, Father God, that, Lord, while Michaela get this job, Father, she'll be on assignment for you, Father, and you will use her, God, as ever before, and anyone else on here, God. We're just coming against lack and uh, just any blockages, and we ask you, God, to Touch, God, every resume, anoint the resume. Touch every application they put their hands to. God, we ask you, God, to give them favor, Father. Give them favor in the name of Jesus Christ. And, God, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Father, God, right now, God, for favor. God, even in advance when it comes to the interviews, that, Lord, you will just give them favor of the interviewer and that they will get the job right there on the spot or they'll get selected, God. And, God, I don't care if the uh, applicant the, app- the application pool is huge and they got a lot of applic- you know uh, applications. 
God, I thank you that you'll do something supernatural when Michaela and anyone else that's believing for a job put their application in, that they come forth, God. And God, we bind up rejection when it comes to jobs. We bind up rejection. Lord, I pray that we will, they won't have to hear, like, you're too qualified for the job, too overqualified, or you're not qualified enough to work with someone else. God, I just pray for favor, God, right now in Jesus' name. And, God, I pray right now for financial security in their lives. Michaela, anyone else on here, I pray for financial security security, that they won't have to be struggling or worry about money or worry about how they're going to support themselves, God, because you said, God, in your word that you will supply everything that we need. You will supply everything according to your needs, God, so we thank you. You will supply all of our needs according to your riches in Christ Jesus. So, God, I thank you that all the needs will be supplied. So, God, we thank you that food, that's a need. So, I decree that Michaela and anyone else on here will always have food. I thank you, Father God, shelter is a need. So I thank you, God, they will always have shelter. God, I thank you, Father God, they will have everything they need, utilities, everything taken care of, everything they need. God, I thank you that you will supply it, and she needs a job, and someone else on her needs a job. So I thank you, God, for supplying that need. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen, amen. Thank you so much right. for your prayers. You're welcome. I appreciate you. All right, you guys, so remember, we are blessed in this mess. Decree it out. We are blessed in this mess. All right, I love you guys. I pray I see some of you guys tonight at 7 o'clock. Can't wait. We're going to have fun, and I will see you soon. If not, I'll see you Monday, 6 o'clock, Sons of Fire. Have a good day. God bless.